Let's go ahead and finish up our seat real fast. I'm going to grab this polygon here and I'm going to extrude it like so. I'm going to pull it down, give it that slight angle. Pull it out like that. We don't want to make it too long. We don't make it too short either. That looks pretty good right there. So let's go ahead and run a loop slice up this way. So I'm going to take this end loop. Actually, I'm just going to take the two sides here. Bevel. And bevel these out. Like so. Then I'm going to take these top ones and bevel them also. But I'm going to scale these in like that. Make them a little shorter. Like so. So now let's go in here and run some loop slices on these. Like so. And I don't want it to cut too much, so I'm going to loop this like that. And I'm going to hit Alt-C, but I'm only going to select, select Slice Selected over here. And that way it's just going to cut the polygons that I have selected there. As you can see, that didn't affect anything else. Because when I double-click the edge, it ran all the way around, and I didn't want to slice everything. So I'm, again, I'm just going to Slice Selected on this side. Now those are holding. Now all we need to do is go up around this way. Now we're getting a little bit better geometry. So now let's go ahead and run a loop slice around like this. And I don't think the loop's going to catch, so we're going to do it by hand. We'll do it this way. We'll go all the way around. See, when we get right there, it messes up. So, let's go ahead and make... That's why. Let's go ahead and cut across. Now, let's try that again. Which is still not particularly doing what I want it to, so we'll just select it by hand. That's pretty good. Only need to cut that up to there. Okay, there's our loop, so now I'm going to run a loop slice, make it count one, but free, actually I'm missing a polygon there, so now let's do it again, slice selected, count one free, let's put it right towards the top, like that. Now we need to cut right down through here like this. Again, we need to make some slices with our edge tool. So we're going to go here. Here. And these don't have to be straight. And we'll come over here and do this side. Now let's go back to polygon mode. Let's see what happens now. Now we can select that loop. And I can run my loop slice and put it right close to the edge there. That's going to help hold my geometry a lot better. And it looks like we need one more right around through here. Put it down low. Like so. Now our geometry is really holding. So let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Put it down low. Okay. Now we got our foot stirrups. Let's go in here and select this one. 
Let's select this one. Let's bevel them out. Like so. We can even pull them forward a little bit. Now let's run a loop slice. Right up through there. But I don't want to keep slice selected. I want to slice the whole loop. Like that's good. Let's do the same thing on this end. Like so. Now we'll grab these polygons. These polygons over here. Extrude them up. Like so. Spacebar drop the tool. B for bevel. Let's bevel these out. Like so. I think this is going to cause us problems. And no, it's doing okay. As you see, we bring it up there like that. So now we can... Let's try to scale it long ways. Like so. And in. A little bit. Now let's do these one at a time. Make them a little skinnier. Do the same thing to this one. Okay, now let's select them here. Deselect the ones we didn't want to select. And let's bevel them with the B key. Bring it up. Shift click again. Bring it up. And scale it in. And there we go, there's that. So let's run our loop sauces real quick. We ain't running out of time. Right through there. Right through there. We'll do the bottom there. The top. And we're getting there. Let's go over here and loop slice this. Loop slice this. Just chugging along. It's starting to look a little better now, as you can see. Now we have our seat there in our next tutorial. Well, let's go in here real quick. And let's take this polygon and extrude it. Out and connect it in right there. We'll run our loop slices so it'll hold. There we go. Now we got our seat. We will see you in the next video.